Hey Fruit Bats, it's Freely the Banana Girl here. Welcome to another episode. It's Monday, the start of a new week. And I have a special guest. Resident sexpert, during order. <laughs> you heard it folks, the sexpert. And today we're talking about sex. And it's actually about how the internet ruined not our sex life, but one of you as a viewer. You have a question for me, and I'm going to read it out right now. The dog's pissed on the garden again. Oh, great. So this question is from Sparkles Diamond. Hi Freely, I'm wondering if you can help. I've got a job for the last six months where I'm on the internet nearly all day and when I'm around my boyfriend I'm not interested in sex. To be honest, it's ruining our sex life. I know you guys spend hours online too. How do you overcome this? I feel addicted to YouTube and Facebook too. Oh, okay. Well, I think we can definitely, we definitely qualify to be able to answer this question because we're on the internet like 10 to 15 hours sometimes. Just trolling. Just trolling. <laughs> That's what he's <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we can definitely qualify to answer this. The thing with being on the internet all the time is that we're, you know, seeking out new information all the time. And as a reward, the brain actually releases dopamine. So it makes us feel good. So we're seeking out information, we get that release, seeking it out, get that release. So it's like a reward all the time. We're getting this constant release. And it gets addictive. You know, we start to, if we spend enough time on it, get our stimulation from the internet rather than sex or rather than something else. So where you put your energy is where... You it know, flows, where, Yeah, where you put your focus. It's where you succeed in, where you put your energy. Yeah, exactly. So if you become addicted to the internet, it's really a choice. You know, you have to put your sex, like your partner, your relationship above the internet. If you don't, then the internet's just going to take over your life and you're going to become completely, probably single. You've probably become single. That's where your energy girl's going to go. Yeah. Whatever you put your focus in is what you get good at. I mean, I found it myself too when we were doing like 15 hour days for like weeks at a time at one stage. I got to bed and you know what? I didn't want to have sex either. I was just like, I'm putting all my stimulation, all my energy into the internet. The last thing I want to do is have sex. And so what do we do? we came up with a solution to treat it as a, as a job. You know, in the morning, get up and say, okay, I'm gonna work nine till 12. I'm gonna do a three hour block. Then I'm gonna have a little bit of time off, a couple of hours, maybe some sex time. Fuck first, then work. That's our policy. <laughs> yeah, there you go. He's got a nice way of saying it. So and then, it and up, and then doing another few bit. hours. So making sure you got blocks of work. All right, so what do you wanna say? Basically the, what Freya said, where your focus goes, your energy flows. So if you wanna get good at YouTube, Focus on YouTube. You want to get good at sex? Focus on sex. If you want to be good at both, then a bit of both. Does that make sense? Focus on what you want to get good at. That's right. If you want to get good at sex, and then you, you want to be more surprised sex. surprised if your relationships or, or your fitness or your YouTube or whatever goes down if you're focusing on something else. It's about having to find the balance point. Often you have to go to the extremes to find the balance point in the middle. So that's, that's fine. It's okay to push yourself. And the only way to know how far you can push yourself is go to the absolute limits. Only when you go too far, you know how far you can really go. So my tip would be, carb the fuck up. Yeah, Especially definitely. guys, if you want a strong dong, when your carbs are strong, so is your dong. Eat a lot of bananas, He's mate. Seventy poetic. bananas a day. He's wanna, very poetic, isn't he? If you want to ravage your girl like a gorilla, eat like a gorilla. Lots of fucking bananas, straight up, man. Definitely. Straight up. Definitely, because you're. It, this burns a lot of glucose, energy, focusing, 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 and using nerve energy. Another thing is, make sure you get enough sleep. If you're on the oh, internet yeah. after midnight, or like after 10 o'clock even, you're going into that time where the human growth hormone is being released, where the melatonin is being released, and that's going to give you a lot of, you know, a nice sound sleep and a lot of recovery from that nerve energy you're expending good, on the internet. Good testosterone levels. If you want a lot of yang energy, get to bed early. More yeah. testosterone is what you want. I don't take testosterone. Most bodybuilders out there take testosterone. I don't know if Sparkles Diamond wants more testosterone. Testosterone women are good as well, you know. Get, get some Randy. Good for a boyfriend. Hopefully you, you show him this video and you can help him with this advice. So carb sleep and allocate your focus correctly. Yeah. So thanks for watching. I hope it helped. If it did, press the like button, give us some love, and I will see you tomorrow for Tuesday's episode. Don't forget to go fruit yourself or... Root yourself. Banana girl.
Fred Charson.